Hi, this is Sherry, and I'm coming at you for Angel's Whisper, and I am in Canyon Lake. Um, there was a reason I wasn't meant to go to Arizona. Everyone's wondering, where are you? You are not in Arizona. You said you were going. Um, and I, I got way late at the last moment, and I was really mad, and I, it was impossible for me to get there and stay, and now I understand why, because it's literally boiling out there, and I wouldn't have been able to do my hikes, and uh, so I'm here in the, it's boiling here too in California, but I'm here in the lake. Look how fun is this? Everyone's out on their paddle boards, floating around. I found this, I've come back to this little area and I, I locked my canoe in here. So hopefully um, I won't get knocked around because when the waves go by, it's, it's really bouncy. So um, I'm gonna speak to you about a special totem. We've spoken about the, the heron totem. It comes here a lot. And I, as I just drove up, there was a huge white one that, that flew off. And maybe we'll see some others. But um, there's, there's a reason I'm gonna be speaking. There's a little bit different about this. The heron talks about, um, the, the heron person is, has the ability to, it's basically learning how to stand on your own two feet and be self-reliant. That's, that, that's the message, that's the lesson. Um, a heron person knows when to strike when opportunity presents itself. Um, they know that the uh, importance of patience. They know that um, they don't need a lot of people around them. They, they're, they're fine on their own. Um, I see so many flying around me right now that I want to talk about, but um, heron people are um, known as jack of all trades. You know, they may have a bunch of different little jobs, um, but they know how to make it work. They're not traditional. They're very unique in their approach to life and, 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 and to everything, but they know how to make it work. Um, they're not concerned with keeping up with the Joneses or appearances. It's really not their deal. They don't, they're not, they have a very um, eclectic way of looking at life, a very spiritual, um, unique way of approaching life, and they're good with that. Um, now, what I wanted to uh, express is there's been a, this little bird that's been in here. I've seen it. Um, it. It shows up in the spring, new beginnings. And I kept seeing it, and I didn't know what it was, and finally someone told me today. It's called a bittern. So I looked it up, and I thought, okay, I'm not going to find a specific message for bittern, am I, um, Toad? And that's just too, it, it's too too unique, I guess. So I looked up bittern itself, and a bittern is a heron. But what it's known for is its uh, ability to camouflage itself. So add that to all the other heron uh, messages that we got and recognize that sometimes you need to camouflage your intentions. Some of, uh, sometimes you need to camouflage um, where you're going or what you're thinking or, or um, what you're planning. So, um, it, and, it, uh, and then put that together with um, the fact that uh, you're going after, you know when opportunity uh, comes and you know when to strike, right? So, so you might be, you might be hiding in the bushes, right? You might, they're camouflaged, you can't see them, they literally meld right into the bushes. So it talks about maybe that's what you need to do right now, is step back and camouflage yourself. Or maybe somebody else is doing that and the opportunity is going to, uh, they're going to come forward and strike. So put those all together, that's our first message. Um, I'm also, I'm going to go right to the cards, um, and I'm not going to say it, so let's just just, just go to the cards. Um, the Psychic Tarot, I haven't used it in a very long time, and uh, the first message that we're going to be getting is speaking about destiny. Um, I'm going to put my, let's see, how can I do this where you can actually see something besides the tree? Um, I'm going to move us out like this, and maybe you can see the water. I hope that you can. Ah! This is our card destiny and as you see this woman she has her hand over her heart chakra and it's basically saying good fortune is on its way to you it's a, a cycle has changed see we see this as the wheel and the wheel is turned favorably in your in your uh, area and basically it talks about com karma coming full circle and she's pointing at you she's like this is your time Com karma has come full circle for you you are about to reap what you have sowed and you're asking, because she's got her hands over her heart chakra, she's asking you to open your heart and accept and receive all that Spirit is bringing your way. Everything that you've earned. Opportunities may be coming to you. Um, they may be unexpected or they may be expected, but they're going to be knocking at your door. So it's a time for you to... Oh, I'm going to let you look around because it's so pretty. It's a time for you to allow your problems to be replaced by solutions, right? Um, and you're being given a chance now to understand the messages and the lessons that have come your way. You've learned them and you've gained wisdom from them. So it's, it's, it's going to help you move quickly now forward um, in a positive direction. 
and you're supposed to hold on to a strong belief, you know, recognize this, that you deserve to be happy. That's where you've come right now too. You've come to a place where you recognize that I am worthy of this. And that's why you're reaping what you're sowing. A lot of it has to do with us recognizing our own self-worth. So you're gonna have this confident mindset and it's gonna show you that the impossible can become the possible. And so right now they're saying, because of these opportunities that are coming forward, take advantage of them. Like the, like the heron, strike when the opportunity presents itself. It's time to come out of your camouflage, come out of your hiding, and strike when the opportunity arrives. Um, act now. And they're telling you to take responsibility for your actions and enjoy the fact that destiny is working in your favor. It's like, yahoo, it's time. And they're saying, don't always rely on, on the fact that it's going to come to you because it doesn't just come to you by itself. There's things that are required of us. So we need to follow our direction from spirit and, and do what spirit's asking for us to do in order to bring these things to us, right? Okay. So the next message that we have coming is, and I've got to make sure that I get this in the right area, is speaking about, let's see, how do we do this? Oh, Lord. It's the crown chakra that they're showing us. <clears throat> the crown chakra. <laughs> Sorry, the crown chakra says I know you know, you know the element is the thought process and Violet is the color this doesn't really look violet, but that's the color and the words are I know so the crown chakra is located now Let me show you hold on The crown chakra is located at the top of your head, right? This is where spirit sends energy to you. This is where it's called the thousand petal lotus um, this is where you, it's the receiver of light. This is where you get inspiration and messages from spirit. Um, it's the link to the universe, to the, to, to the infinite. Um, it's your connection between um, your higher self and, and, and the spiritual realm, okay? Um, so the crown is where you have ethereal light that comes in. I've been doing a lot of uh, Reiki cocoon um, work lately. And as I ask for the Reiki cocoon uh, to, be, to be wrapped around the one that I love, I'm asking that the Reiki energy goes in through the crown because that's that's where the highest spiritual light's going to go it goes in through the crown so um we're receiving and, and and we're dispersing the energy when it comes if it goes in in through our crown that way so to balance this so that you're able to do this to your best of, of your advantage is to do breath work to do yoga um spiritual healing acupuncture like spiritual healing like the reiki healing that that, that i've been doing um and this is going to align your chakras um, and your crown chakra especially, to the point where you're able to tap in to this higher wisdom and to the higher self. So I've been doing this, um, we're moving here, I've been doing this um, Reiki cocoon, right? And I ask that the, um, I'm a Reiki master, so I ask that the highest, um, the highest vibrational light go in through the crown chakra and fill the body. And, and the Reiki knows where to go. It knows what it needs to be healed. It knows um, um, exactly how long it's supposed to be in specific areas, but I ask for it to go in flood the body um, through the through the layers of skin through the adipose tissues into the morgan uh, organs through the blood system everywhere and it, it, it flood